our talk about upper jaw bleeding and portal hypertension احنا تكلمنا عن ال portal hypertension in general today we will uh, talk about uh, specifically about uh, portal hypertension portal hyper we know the venous portal venous contributes approximately 75% of blood 72% of oxygen supply the average adults about 1000 to 1500 mole per minute of venous blood is supplied to the to the liver normal portal venous pressure is uh, is 5 to 10 millimeter of mercury at this pressure very little blood is shunted from the portal venous system into the systemic circu circulation the the level above 15 millimeter of mercury is considered portal hypertension and it's become clinically apparent when the level and uh, level exceed 20 millimeter of mercury at this uh, at this level uh, the complication of portal uh, hypertension may be apparent in form of ascites hepatic encephalopathy and portal uh, and uh, variceal uh, bleeding as as the as portal venous pressure increases the collateral communication with systemic circulation dilate and a large amount of blood will shunted from uh, around the liver into the systemic circulation that's say the blood will bypass the liver uh, to go to systemic circulation what are the sites of uh, portal systemic shunt this uh, this is represent the uh, portal systemic venous anastomosis which is uh, their sites is are lower esophagus left gastric veins from the portal side and lower branches of residual veins from systemic uh, this is from systemic side upper part of the anal canal superior rectal vein from portal side and inferior and middle rectal vein from systemic side in the amplicus around the around uh, ar around the amplicus paramplacal vein from portal side and uh, epigastric veins from the systemic side Area of the liver, intraparenchymal branches of right division of portal vein and retroperitoneal veins. Hepatic and splenic flexures, omental and colonic veins. This is the portal side and systemic side is retroperitoneal veins. Now I have a diagram illustrate the site of the sites of the portal systemic shunt. What are the common causes? These they can, can be classified into pre-sinusoidal, sinusoidal and post-sinusoidal. Pre-sinusoidal, we have intrahepatic, uh, sorry, extrahepatic causes. Most commonly, it is splenic vein, vein thrombosis in addition to the splenic megaly and the uh, splenic arterial venous fistula, or intrahepatic, as in case of schistosomiasis, congenital hepatic fibrosis, nodular regeneration hyperplasia, regenerative hyper hyperplasia, idiopathic portal fibrosis myeloproliferative disorder, psychoid, and uh, grad versus host disease. Sinusoidal, this include intrahepatic causes. Most commonly, it is uh, liver cirrhosis, viral infection, alcohol abuse, primary biliary cirrhosis, autoimmune hepatitis, primary sclerosis and cholangitis, metabolic abnormalities. While the post-sinusoidal post uh, causes include intrahepatic, as in vascular occlusive disease and post-hepatic uh, in case of blood carry syndrome, congestive heart failure, inferior vena cava uh, web, and uh, constrictive pericarditis. Portal hypertension per se produces no symptom, but uh, usually uh, it is becoming clinically apparent when its compli uh, complication become uh, evident, like uh, variceal bleeding, encephalopathy, and ascites. In case of, in case of the uh, upper jaw bleeding due to variceal bleeding, uh, it is a medical emergency, uh, and the uh, treatment uh, and resuscitation must be done at intensive care unit. Follow the general principle of emer uh, emergency APC, and uh, the patient uh, usually uh, must have two large por peripheral cannula. In resuscitation, intravenous fluid, we have to avoid flu uh, fluid overload in order to uh, prevent uh, dislodgement of the clot that uh, that prevent further uh, bleeding. And we have to correct coagulopathy, this in form of uh, vitamin K, 10 mg or tranexamic acid, 1 gram, fresh orgasm, platelets, transfusion. 
and uh, we have to activate the blood transfusion protocol because the patients usually uh, have massive blood trans uh, uh, brisk upper jaw bleeding and he, uh, he has to have a massive blood transfusion and from uh, even more than six pints of blood so we have to activate the major blood transfusion protocol a drug therapy in form of telepressine this causes supplanic vas construction and to reduce the uh, the bleeding prophylactic antibiotics is very important and when the patient uh, becomes stable we have to do endoscopy endoscopy you have diagnostic role and therapeutic role diagnostic role is just to confirm that the bleeding is because of uh, is a visual virus is not other cause of upper jaw bleeding because in even a patient with with conditions that result in portal hypertension uh, 50 percent of them have other other uh, other cause of our uh, upper jaw bleeding rather than is a visual uh, viruses so it is important to do endoscopy in order to confirm that and also endoscopy it is important in uh, in order to deal with the upper GI bleeding either uh, either varices uh, or or any other uh, conditions that cause upper GI bleeding if the patient if the patient does not respond to the to conservative measures uh, and the patient is unstable we have uh, two temporary uh, uh, tampon at the uh, bleeding s site w and this is done by single taken blackmore uh, tube uh, which is consists of two pallon gastric pallon which is inflated with 300 mol of air and retracted to the gastric fundus and then subsequent uh, uh, inflation of the isovigial pallon to 40 millimeter of mercury and this should be kept uh, no more than 12 hours because after 12 hours it result in the uh, in the uh, necrosis tissue necrosis of the uh, esophagus this is the gastric pallon and this is the esophageal pallon now uh, regarding that uh, how to treat the uh, varicella bleeding uh, the most common type and the most effective method of controlling of esophageal uh, esophageal bleeding is by endoscopic uh, endoscopic band ligation. If this failed, we do endoscopic cyclotherapy. therapy. If endoscopic measure uh, failed, then we insert, as we said, the single stick in a black more uh, tube in order to tamponade the uh, varices and prepare the patient for intervention, which is called transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunts and uh, it is called TIPS. This is done by the interventional uh, radiologist. This is treat uh, the treatment of varicella bleeding that has not responded to direct treatment and endoscopic therapy, but it has complication, uh, may result in liver capsule perforation, and this result in intraperitoneal bleeding, and uh, the stent may be closed, and, and when it's closed, the uh, portal venous pressure will uh, raise again and result in further varicella bleeding. Post shunt encephalopathy, 40% uh, of cases because the uh, the uh, portal venous, uh, which is rich in toxins that are uh, drained from the gastrointestinal tract, will bypass the detoxification by the liver, and so the toxins will reduce the systemic circulation and cause encephalopathy. And the rate of uh, annual rate of tip cystinosis is account for 50% uh, after one year. Other method is surgical shunts for variceal hemorrhage. Uh, surgical shunts are an effective method of preventing rebleeding from esophageal or gastric varices as they reduce the presence in the pressure in the portal uh, circulation by diverting blood into low low pressure systemic dil uh, dilatation. هنا راح شنو يصير اللي هو راح احنا راح نسوي artificial anosmosis other than the anosmosis at the uh, at the esophagus at the esophagus so we divert the blood from the portal uh, venous pressure into systemic pressure in order to, to reduce the portal venous pressure different modalities either porto caval anosmosis and this is side to side porto caval or end to side porto caval uh, also uh, mesocaval or uh, renal uh, su uh, surgical shunt the definitive treatment of portal hypertension remain it is liver transplantation 
The other sequelae of portal hypertension is ascites. Uh, here in ascites, portal vein thrombosis is a common predisposing factor for development of ascites in case of portal hypertension. In, uh, in particular, without evidence of liver diseases, malignancy. Aspiration of the peritoneal fluid. We have to do aspiration of peritoneal fl uh, fluid in order to to check the content of the mm, the protein content and to differentiate it whether it is exudate or transudate uh, estimate the amylase level in, uh, in order to exclude pancreatic uh, uh, causes also we have to do cytology to exclude malignancy and to do microsc uh, microscopy and culture uh, to exclude the primary bacterial and tuberculous peritonitis how can we treat we uh, follow the uh, um, we we follow the measures to general principles that uh, to deal with ascites salt restriction di diuretics and abdominal paracentesis and the measures uh, to deal with the portal uh, hypertension as in tips uh, uh, transhepatic uh, trans sorry transjugular intrahepatic portal systemic shunt and liver uh, the, and the liver transplantation remains the only definitive treatment to treat the portal hypertension and its sequelae. By the end of the portal hypertension, we complete our lecture about the upper jaw bleeding and portal hypertension.